So this is an Alba brand video cassette recorder VCR. In this video, uh, we're going to talk about how I did the troubleshooting for this uh, VCR, the power supply problem. The problem with this VCR was there's no power. After you switch it on, the display, there's no display and it seems totally dead. So I just opened it up and removed everything and I just have this uh, uh, main board, motherboard. And we also have another uh, printed circuit board which is the button uh, just at, uh, at the front, connect to that connector. And uh, at the front you can see uh, this uh, button area over here. And the button at here, uh, and you can see we have a, a roll of a button and for this. So just a one big main printed uh, circuit board and a small button board. And in this VCR, so we have the power supply, but you can see there are markings over here. So we have the line here. This is just to say this is a power block. And you can see here the power supply block. So it just uh, that area. So I just try to repair things within the power block. So mainly, most likely, there are going to be some problems with the uh, power block. After I open up, I check the fuse. The fuse was okay. And then I check the wattage for the main capacitor of the rectifier. And it's okay, it's 340 watt or something. So that's power still okay. But it seems also the voltages at the secondary after the transformer, there are some voltages as well. But just that there's the no display on that VFD display unit. On the printed circuit, so you can see there's some words on those and you can see there are some voltage writing like here so you have 12 watt 5 watt 28 watts oh five watts or something uh, this is on this uh, component side we have a lot of these uh, writings and if we turn the board over and you can also say there's some uh, writings on here so you can see here so that there is a uh, CONV 5 volts and there are some other writings here there are the O 12 volts and there are some uh, like uh, uh, like here so O 40 volts so you have O 40 volts and I measured all these uh, voltages and it seems that all the voltages on the secondary of the transformer a little bit lower like 5 volts is about 4 like uh, uh, 28 volts uh, about 27 like a 40 volt, 40 volt it seems okay, 39 or 40 and particularly the 12 volt voltage here but that's only measured about 8 volt so it's much lower than it should be. And then I use the oscilloscope and look at the waves on this uh, high voltage side, of course on the isolation transformer, and it seems uh, all, we can see all the waves, it seems to still working. And after that, I just try to check all the pins on the secondary side of the transformer, and you can see on this side of the board and this is a secondary that's a primary on secondary there are eight pins and two of those are ground pins and then i check and I try to draw a simple diagram just for the power supply parts and to, to just to check uh, which pin related to which voltage we need so on the secondary, you can see here the GRN that's ground, and this label there uh, somewhere else. You can see this label as well, 
and that's the ground so we use that ground as the reference and we check uh, the voltages and for these uh, different pins on the second side i try to draw some uh, diagrams and something like uh, something like this like that like this like this and there's also uh, some feedback things and this is roughly may not be accurate it's uh, quite difficult to draw diagrams uh, uh, you have to uh, flip this board uh, over and over again to check uh, the connections so sometimes uh, it's uh, not very easy but uh, if you have a rough idea uh, it would be okay and then i found out uh, this secondary pin 7 uh, is related to the 9 volt voltage it is something like this so the pin 3 pin 6 is uh, ground and we have this pin 7 and then there's the diode D1010 and then we have capacitor C1012 and C1014 and then there is the inductor L1003 and that should be 12 volts connected to 12 volts but actually it was measured 9 volts and then I check this uh, diode and I just uh, solder it out one leg out and measure it was okay and then I removed this uh, inductor and then this voltage jump to 15 volts so uh, here is the uh, diode for the 12 volts and it is this diode so after that I remove the capacitor this capacitor and that capacitor and this capacitor is here and the C1014 is here so this is just two very close by and firstly I removed this C1012 which is this one and uh, it's uh, labeled as a 470 microfarad and then after i remove it I, and i measure it is uh, only 0 0.001 microfarad so it's justly dried up there's uh, no capacitance and then after i remove it and i just uh, plug it in and measure the voltage but still the same low voltage maybe because there's the no uh, capacitor and then I remove the next uh, capacitor which is the C1014 and on the circuit is this one it's not this big this is uh, my new one and this capacitor is marked as a 330 microfarad so after I remove this capacitor, I measure it. The reading was 80 microfarad. But the problem is not only the lower capacitance, but the ECR is about 3.7 ohms. But the requirement for this 330 microfarad, the ECR should be less than 0.3 ohm. So that definitely 40 and then i replace the this uh, two capacitor and uh, they are all bigger than the original but the same rating so this is uh, 470 and this is a uh, 330 and i just uh, solder them in so after i replace this uh, two capacitor the the voltage changed from uh, 9 volts to 13.8 volts so now you can see this is my new replaced capacitor and we have the display over there so we can plug in and see the result and this VCR takes about uh, I think 10 seconds for the display uh, to come on and now you can see the display so it's working now
So in summary, so this is a power supply uh, area, and up to at the start of my troubleshooting, I just checked the voltage from after the rectifier, and it was okay. And also, I checked the voltage as labeled on the printed circuit. Just uh, every voltage, there's some voltage, but lower. Particularly, the 12 volts supply is only 9 volts. So I started with the 9 volts and find out the two capacitor had gone. And then after I replaced the two capacitor, the 9 volts changed to nearly 14 volts. And all other voltages all uh, come up and get to the normal range. So this troubleshooting is just for this particular VCR. And this is just an example of a troubleshooting for a particular VCR. Hope it helps uh, someone uh, who are doing the repair of a similar model or just a VCR. Thank you.